Christopher Olson and Ann Miriman are archaeologists using sonar technology to scan the bottom of Lake Minnetonka. I like mowing the lawn back and forth, back and forth. Looking for lost steamboats and other unknown wrecks. Maritime Heritage Minnesota was founded uh, by us in 2005 to uh, preserve, conserve, document, and when necessary, excavate uh, Minnesota's maritime uh, resources. Our main goal is to preserve and educate people about the sites that we find and that we document. We have 250-foot uh, beams going out on either side of the boat. We have a GPS map on our sonar unit. Part one of the Lake Minnetonka survey was completed last year and yielded some unexpected results. There's the barge in St. Albans, uh, about a 75-foot barge, what we think once belonged to uh, Captain Johnson, who was a prominent sailor on Lake Minnetonka. There's a uh, rather large, another 70-foot wreck in uh, Wyzetta Bay. We were hoping that it might be uh, part of the city of St. Louis, which was a prominent steamboat in the 1890s. There are the uh, wrecks that are north of Big Island, three of the uh, streetcar steamboats of the six that used to operate on the lake. They were sunk on purpose, most of them. These wrecks are the only physical thing we, can, we have that tells how they were built. Because we got all these anomalies, uh, 75 of them in, upper, in Lower Lake. And of those anomalies, we think nine of them are probable shipwrecks, 13 are possibles. We might have just tripled the number of known wrecks in Minnesota just from this survey. We got a Minnesota Historical and Cultural Grant, part of the Legacy Amendment, to do this work. We had got a grant to do the work on Lower Lake too, so there's two grants now that just have been Lake Minnetonka. And we're working on another grant to actually then dive on all the wrecks. What makes Lake Minnetonka so great is it's got, you know, it's got steam launches, it's got a stern wheeler, it's got a side wheeler, it's got the streetcar boats, which were propeller, the gasoline or steam launch, kind of a little bit of everything. Boats. Those smaller boats are just as interesting to us as the big steamers. And we're eventually, with all this work, once we dive on these sites, recognize what they are, the ultimate goal is to create a National Historic Shipwreck District with the federal government, and that'll be a first for Minnesota underwater. Chris and Ann are continuing to search the lake and hope to publish part two of the Lake Minnetonka survey shortly, revealing these hidden wrecks to the public. We don't want to restrict access. If everyone treats the wrecks with respect, everyone can dive on them, everyone can enjoy them. That's our, our goal.